guys welcome to my channel and welcome to a house building video so this house was originally going to be in my fairy tale series but since it really has nothing to do with any fairy tale th things i just decided to call it a normal house building video uh, because i mean it's supposed to be a witch house but it doesn't look like a witch house because this witch is trying to to look innocent that makes any sense so this house is super cute it's like really cute <laughs> and i also kind of already built a scary spooky witch sort of house for my halloween series um so this is going to be a completely different house it's going to be relatively big it's not like super big it's only designed for one sim but i think you could fit eight sims in here if you really tried I think it's most suitable for like five or six sims um, but since I had one sim in mind when building this house it's designed for one sim but we're only going to be doing the outside in this video so that is going to be a discussion for the next video which will probably be up on Sunday I think I'm not sure and one of the things I really like about my channel is that it sort of records my improvement in building houses in the sims I used to suck at building houses <laughs> I was so bad I didn't even do it I just used existing houses I maybe gave it like a little upgrades or like an expansion or something but that was it I hated building and I actually really enjoy building right now I have lots of ideas floating around in my head and I really would like to build more houses so one of the things that really helped me um, the first thing is always make your build smaller uh, I'm sorry I'm spinning around like crazy like always uh, because uh, I like to look at my build from all angles when I sort of reach a certain point and that's why I always spin around so much um, I'm basically just checking if everything is still in place and if I'm not missing any walls if the roofing is all done correctly and things like that um, but anyway um, one of the things that really helps me is first of all what I just said always make it smaller um, I think a lot of people make the mistake of making their builds too big i used to do that and then i looked at it like it's too boring or something is missing um and the solution almost always is just make it smaller just move all of the walls in a little um, because then it looks more interesting because there's more going on in a smaller space if that makes any sense the second thing that really helped me is using reference pictures um, I mostly have like a theme in mind or what I would like it to look like what uh, <laughs> I have like a style of house houses in mind before I start building and then I look up lots of pictures and I choose one and then, then I use sort of like the general shape of that house um, to help me get started and what I also started to do more um, in every single build is using more shapes for the roof um, when I first started building, I tried to use uh, very little shapes for the roof. Um, basically, I only did like one or two, uh, maybe like this like triangle thing. And I'm not sure what they are called, so I'm not sure if I can actually uh, talk about this uh, in much detail. But as you can see me doing right now, I'm actually using lots and lots of different sizes and shapes. and. Uh, basically as many as I can fit in there without looking at without making it look too insane um, is what I'm trying to do because it also makes the house look more interesting so one of the things I was trying to accomplish with this build is making it look like a mansion without making it too large um, because mansions are I mean most of the time they are pretty big so I looked up the definition of a mansion and it's basically like a big house that's also pretty like intimidating or um, impressive to look at so I was trying to sort of accomplish the impressive side of it without making it too big and I was also trying to make it look very fancy and very old-fashioned like so the garden was actually inspired by castles I've been to a few castles in my life and most of them have like really big fountains and then like sections that were just completely filled with flowers but it's very neat so it's like pathways where you can walk on and then there's like a square where there's 
flowers just flowers and it's actually really impressive to look at from uh, above because you can see like the whole layout of the garden it's all very structured and planned out and I also placed this house in the fancy place like area in Willow Creek um, there's like this place where there's like only mansions and the houses are very big it's where the goth family lives and all of those houses like the rich people <laughs> that's where I placed this house but it's on a smaller lot so I wanted to try to achieve the same feel like the same look as a really big house has without making it a very big house <laughs> and then the last thing I tried to do was make it look very very cute and innocent <laughs> so that's inspired by the sim I created if you haven't seen the creator sim um, of my witch creator sim thing I did um, uh, the link will probably be down in the description I will also try to remember to put it in the eye but no promises because I'm very bad at remembering that <laughs> so basically she is a witch and she looks very innocent and beautiful and old-fashioned and like someone who wouldn't harm you like no doubt about it that she would harm you but she's actually evil and mean and she's jealous probably or something like that she's not a nice person <laughs> so i wanted this house to look super innocent and that's why it's not in the fairy tale series because it doesn't look like a fairy tale house it doesn't look like a witch house uh, but it does fit my character so if you don't know yet um i'm not sure if i ever said this on my channel probably not i really like the color pink it's my favorite color probably i also really like bright colors like yellow and um orange and things like that and i also really really like purple but i think pink is my favorite color i'm pretty sure that pink is my favorite color color i have like a pink couch in my room um and it's very bright and you will probably go blind if you walk into my room that sort of color <laughs> uh, so i was really happy that i actually got to make a pink house this time <laughs> And I don't think I've ever been able to justify making an entire house pink without people being like What are you doing? Why is this entire house pink? You're insane and I don't like your building skills But I think it actually fits this house. It's really cute. I love this color. It's like a baby pink sort of thing um, So I think it really fits this house and the story I was sort of trying to tell which is I'm super innocent and don't think I'm evil, please, <laughs> sort of thing. And since I made this house one solid color all the way around, because normally I use like, probably like three or four, or I mean, at least two colors to paint a house. Um, but this time I only used one. So I used lots and lots of different types of windows and a lot of windows all around. And the thing I was going for was uh, the windows that had the combination of white and uh, like a brown color. I'm not sure why, I just thought it looked good, I guess. <laughs> um, and as you can see, I actually used three different types of windows on one side of the house. And um, there's more here. There's like probably like five or six different types of windows in this entire build. Which makes the house look really interesting and also the different roofing pieces make the house look very interesting so it didn't need um, all of those colors but at some point in this video i actually you saw me uh, making the little tower thing on the side and the like little thing room that i'm not using in this house all the way on at the top of the build i made that um a stone thing like a brick uh, and i really liked the way that looked so if I would go back, I might change that, uh, like make it a, a brick anyway, just to make it a little more interesting, but I don't think it necessarily needs it, but it can, I can do that. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense anymore. I'm really bad at recording like 50 minute long uh, voiceovers because it's just, I don't know, it's just a little too long for me. I'm usually like, I've talked about everything in about, 10 minutes and then it's just like what what am i going to be talking about now <laughs> so as you can see i just put a little balcony thing at the front with a little like a sun 
screen sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then the thing I always like to do is put those plants up the side of the walls. I'm still not sure what they are called, even though... Is it called Ivy? I'm pretty sure it's called Ivy. I'm not sure though, but I only used the pretty flower ones because I thought it matched um, the house really well and I thought it made it look even more cute and more innocent and I really want to live here now. <laughs> like from the outside, this is probably what my dream home would look like, only I would like it to be smaller. I, I, I never really felt like I wanted to live in a large house. So if this was like a cottage sort of style, like a really small house, but the same like pink shade and the same... <laughs> As you can see, I am giving myself enough money for probably my entire life. Um, <laughs> I tried to do it with the mother load cheat at first, but then I just changed my money to 9999999999. <laughs> etc <laughs> but anyway if this house was a little smaller it would probably be my dream home actually a lot smaller and then the dilemma with me is always do i make the inside modern or like a cozy old-fashioned sort of style because i like both i like the like cleanness of modern it's very like calming um it doesn't really look messy at all I would probably make it messy, but it doesn't look messy. And as someone that is has like a very easy like stress level, um, I get stressed out over everything, literally everything. It's nice to have like a clean space. But then I also really like warmth and coziness. And I guess I sort of like things to be a little messy sometimes not always but sometimes i like things to be a little messy and i'm also a person that likes to just hang around hang around a fireplace uh, like we have a fireplace in our house and it's just it looks so nice to just sit on the couch with my laptop and be around the fireplace and hear like the little crackling sounds i'm not sure if that is a word but you probably know what i mean like the fireplace has a very distinct sound so as you can see the structure of the house is now pretty much done so i'm moving on to the garden and one of the things i saw when um, image searching for mentions was uh, the like the driveway always had like this particular shape i'm building right now uh, and like a fountain in the middle of it so i wanted to do that even though it's a lot smaller than a driveway would probably be because normally like I would guess that there could be like three cars driving next to each other and would still fit. <laughs> and this doesn't even fit one car, probably. I'm not sure how big Sims 4 cars would be. We don't even have any cars right now. So I'm guessing that no cars would fit around that. Or you would have some seriously good parking skills. Um, I wouldn't be able to do that. But then again, I just started my driving lesson so <laughs> i would see why i couldn't be able to wouldn't be able to do that but i don't think anyone is able to do that so <laughs> it probably wouldn't be me that is causing the problem this time any other time it would probably be me <laughs> so i guess the three things that i wanted in this garden were um the little driveway shape thing inspired by like big mansions, uh, the fountain, and I wanted those flower things that were like very neatly structured and all look the same and have like um, weirdly shaped, like that tree that's like unnecessarily shaped into round things, <laughs> I'm not sure. And then I placed down two elephants, I think somewhere else in also a similar shape to this one with the same flowers. Um, yeah, that's sort of what I went for. Like, very neatly structured flower places. My English isn't good enough to describe everything. I've been noticing that more and more um, as I'm building more interesting things. I don't know the words for s certain things that I'm building. So I try to des describe it more visually than actually say the words. Um, I guess it takes up more time, so <laughs> I actually fill up more of, more of this voiceover, so that's good. But as you can see, I'm now working on the other shapes, and these are supposed to be the other flower places. Um, 
like I said, I put two elephants in this one. I also used some floor paints uh, to make a little path around the thing, like you could walk around there. Um, and that's basically it for this video. If I'm done with that, it's basically done. Um, in the next video, I actually fixed up some of the garden. I already built everything. Uh, but I decided to put it in the other video anyway because this one is actually getting pretty long. So the outside of the house isn't completely done yet, but it's mainly there. <laughs> so I left this video like that. Uh, you can actually see the finished product in the thumbnail. So if you're really curious, you might be able to get like a little sneak peek in there. So after I finish up these little flower things, this video will be over. So thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and all of that if you would like to. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.